Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to RGH Tech TV and today let's see some tips and tricks with uh, Windows 10. See, uh, coming from Windows 8.1, there are some improvements in Windows 10 which I will let you know in this video. Uh, for that matter, firstly, uh, swiping from right to left, we could get a charm bar which is now eliminated and we have something called as Action Center. So it has two parts to it. So the first part being that uh, uh, it, it acts as a notification center so when I uh, think if you get some mails or uh, it will be notified here or else if you have uh, some system related issues like uh, uh, storage issue or something like that it will let you know here for example see as you can see uh, it says like updates were installed so let's clear it off and then there is a mail here we have millions upgrade to windows fine so in this way uh, you will get to know regarding a lot of notifications uh, over here so this is the first part of action center the second part is you have many quick toggles over here for example the first is tablet mode which i will explain you and then you have this rotation lock which uh, earlier was uh, not there or probably it might be in 8.1 but it was not easily accessible but now it is and apart from this you have wi-fi settings you have uh, brightness bluetooth and other location settings and every and you also have this aeroplane mode which is a good thing now i'll let you know what is a tablet mode so once you click on this as you can see uh, everything becomes full screen so you'll get that immersive experience even applications as you can see i'll just show you that uh, let's open this news application as you can see you don't have that close button at all uh, it becomes full screen and you can uh, browse it very easily and i really like this uh, mode which is available and i believe that this always, this is also available on the pc version and uh, one more interesting thing is as you can see there is a back button here which earlier in 8.1 i could not find it so now let's shift it back to uh, pc mode and uh, so this is one improvement which i really liked now next off we have uh, the start menu which uh, uh, which is brought back to windows 10 uh, it was in uh, windows uh, uh, 7 and in windows 8 and 8.1 we only had this uh, metro tile interface now what they have done is they have included metro tile interface uh, with a start menu so they have combined uh, both the things which is very good and i'm really liking this feature so this can also be adjusted as you can see can adjust the height you can adjust the width and uh, the important thing is that you can see we can get access to most used applications and recently used applications and also all applications which is at the bottom so as you can see you scroll down you'll get to all the applications which are installed on this uh, tablet and if you want to navigate through alphabets then you can hit on any of the alphabet and it will give you this interface where we can navigate to whichever we want to as you can see in p we have uh, these many uh, applications installed and if you go to R then you have these many applications over here so this is definitely a beneficial thing here now uh, let's see some of the other things which have been included in Windows 10 uh, Cortana is included but due to some issues with my tablet uh, due to some microphone issues I'm not able to access this but this is a personal assistant like uh, Siri or uh, like uh, Win like Google now so which will give you uh, uh, what do you say uh, customized information according to your search history or what you look for so you can search for places to visit you can search for uh, cab services you can search for news you can search for um, the things which go around you like so it will be customized and sorted out according to your needs so this is one of the best uh, uh, services which is available so currently it's available in it's not available in india soon it will be available in india but uh, in us it's available so uh, then so cortana is very important thing which uh, uh, windows 10 has included and the other thing is they have included a browser called as edge browser and uh, as you can see so as you can see uh, this edge browser has the integration of Cortana so if you want to search something then you can highlight that and then search through Cortana so this is um, uh, made from scratch uh, we can uh, consistently notice that so this is very smooth uh, I've been using this from past uh, five to six days and I'm really liking this browser uh, a lot and it's quite better than uh, windows uh, i mean to say internet explorer so you do have see i live in bangalore so i get the bangalore weather information i get the news so it's pretty customized actually 
right so this is also one of the good things which they have included now i'll tell you so one of the interesting thing which i really liked was the multitasking abilities now uh, earlier in windows 8.1 we could have swiped from uh, left to right and we could have launched the recent used applications but now what they have done is you they have introduced a snap feature which was also previously available but i'll tell you the difference so as you can see now it got snapped see whether application got snapped into one side of the uh, screen and it gives me suggestion like uh, these are the open uh, tabs and which one would you like to have uh, in the other uh, multitasking tray so i would like to go to store so as you can see we can seamlessly uh, do the multitasking and this is one feature which i really liked here okay so let's close these things for the time being and uh, one more thing which i liked was see this tablet comes with uh, only 16 gigs of internal storage as you can see and out of that i have left me i have been left with only 3 gb if you can properly see that now i have included a micro sd card of 32 gb so what windows 10 has done is they have included uh, they have uh, included a thing wherein we can install applications directly to SD card and you can access that by access it by going to all settings system and uh, storage where is storage okay so as you can see save locations and you you can see that new applications will save to uh, SD card so this is one of the beneficial thing which uh, Windows 10 has given so you can directly save applications to uh, SD card uh, this is uh, one thing which I really liked on uh, this tablet and apart from that you can also choose where your music have to be have to save or pictures or videos uh, will will get saved so this is one of the best things and apart from this if you go to PC this PC then uh, at the bottom there you have this temporary files uh, just don't delete these files keep it for a month and it will automatically get deleted because if you want to revert back to a windows 8.1 then uh, this uh, these files are very much necessary as it says don't clear this you can delete this but don't delete it uh, you can it automatically get deleted after uh, probably a month that's what they said they have been said there now another feature is uh, how to get to control panel for that you have to right click I'm mean going to say press and hold on the start button and from here you can access task manager control panel and various other settings so as you can see you can uninstall any program if you want to and access other things uh, as you do in the traditional windows so uh, i believe that i have covered most part so this was pretty much a basic walkthrough of the software part of windows 10 so uh, and also have made a uh, uh, an unboxing and review of this tablet which is eyeballs wq77 which you can find me find it uh, in my channel or else i'll link it here right and uh, so do uh, uh, hit the like button if you have enjoyed or if this video has helped you and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends and family and most importantly thanks for watching